Hello and welcome to a Gadget Inspector special where we're investigating the latest invention by Sir James Dyson. Now it is not a vacuum cleaner and it is not a hand dryer. Can you guess what it is yet? Well, if you guessed that it was an electric fan, you'd have guessed correctly. We're taking a closer look at the Dyson Air Multiplier, a new invention from Sir James Dyson, which could revolutionise the way we keep cool in summer. Now, the obvious point to make is this is a, uh, it's a fan mm -hmm. without any blades. Ooh, and look, if we turn it on, it really does work. It's simple push of the button. Now. It's pretty good. I like that. Right. Claudine, explain why this is special. <laughs> We better turn it off, right? Why is this? Why is this special and different from a standard fan? I hate using normal fans on my desk. Um, I think the reason for that is just because it's such a big blast of air in your face. Whereas, although that was on the highest level, <laughs> it's a lot gentler. It feels a bit more like you're sitting beside an open window than as though you're sitting in the kind of full glare of a fan. And I think that's a really nice, kind of comfortable way of keeping cool. Right now, if we take a look at a traditional fan, mm. we can see how this is different. The point about a standard fan is it takes the air, takes one unit of air, mm. and it shoves out another unit of air right. just at a higher speed. And the issue is, is you can feel it bumps along. Yes, it's not smooth, is it? It's kind of no. And Dyson's point choppy. is, it's little, yeah, exactly, it's little blocks of air. Whereas mm. this takes one unit of air and pumps out 16 units of air. So it's going no faster no, than a standard fan. No, but it fan. pumps it uniformly around the whole kind of yes. sphere of the fan. And it's so. more energy efficient because mm. you're taking uh, one unit and getting 16 units out. And mm. it's a 40 watt fan, this is also a 40 watt fan, and far more green and energy efficient than a uh, than air conditioning. Yeah, but quite apart from anything else, look how much better it looks as well. <laughs> Why would you want this on your desk when you can that? Now the question is, it's going to retail for, uh, we think, £199 mm. when it goes on sale. Yeah. Would you spend £199 on this lovely bit of kit? I think it slightly depends on what our barbecue summer of 2010 <laughs> is going to be like. If it looks like we're going to be having hot weather, then it's definitely something I'd consider because it does get rather warm at home and in the office. Um, but I don't know if I'd sort of necessarily splash out on it now without knowing what the weather forecast is going to be for 2010. Yes. And intriguingly, this is the first product that Dyson has launched specifically or first of all primarily at a foreign audience. Mm. It's hopefully going to be big in America and big in Japan where the vacuum cleaners, the famous Dyson vacuum cleaners already do very well but this is in fact that's the primary target mm. for this. Understandably they've got much better weather than we have so. And they get very sticky. So I'm impressed. I think it's a lovely, as with all Dyson products, I think it's mm. a lovely uh, bit of kit. Um, uh, does it deliver? I think it does deliver. Yep, I think so. It's simplicity, uh, but it's also very, very effective at what it does. And I think that's kind of the hallmarks of Dyson's products, really. So, big fan of this. I'm going to give it 8 out of 10. The accusation with Dyson vacuum cleaners are they are style and not that much substance. They look fantastic, but are they any better than the competition? This is clearly better than the competition. There's no other desk fan on the market that just looks as nice and performs as well as this. Nothing else, it's a piece of pie to clean. I'm very impressed, nine out of 10.